we are having 4x minus 1 all divided by 5 plus x plus 4 all divided by 2 equals to 3. Don't forget that 3 could also be as a fraction as 3 divided by 1. So let's see how we can deal with that. Now, when we have an equation that involves fractions, the first thing we can do is to clear the fraction by multiplying through by the LCM of the denominators. So we are looking for a multiple of 5 and 2. A common multiple. You know, multiples of 5 will be 5, 10, 15, in that order, multiples of 2 will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Common multiple between the two numbers with this half 1 will be 10. Meaning I'll be multiplying each of the 10 in this expression, in this equation, by what? 10. So let's go. Meaning 10 will multiply into bracket 4x minus 1 divided by 5. We are introducing a bracket because they are binomial terms. The 10 affects both numerators, uh, both terms in the numerator. Plus 10 times into bracket x plus 4 divided by 2 equals to 3 times what? 10, which would have been 30. But let's say have the multiplication. The idea of multiplying by the LCM is to clear the fraction. We know 2 will go here 1, 2 will go here 5. 5 will go here 1, 5 will go here 2. So these two now will multiply the 4x minus 1. If not, you will be using the 2 just to multiply the 4x, ignoring the 1. That will make your answer wrong. Plus 5 into bracket x plus 4 Bracket close equals to 3 10, 30. What is the next thing? We have to expand this bracket by using the term outside to multiply each of the term. Meaning 2 times 4x will give us 8x. 2 times minus 1, minus 2. 5 times x, 5x. 5 times 4, that will be 20 equals to 30. So the next thing is to group like terms. If you like, we can simplify at first before we group the like terms because I see 5x, 5, x, five uh, 8x, and 5x. I can add them together to get a 13x. So here I'll be having 13x, 20 minus 2 would have given us 18 equals to 30. So now we have a single variable term then a constant term to group. That will make your 13x to be equal to 30. Then we subtract 18 from both sides, making the 18 to move to the right. Fast forward, we can have our 13x equals to 30 minus 18. I guess we have 12. So that will be 12. We divide. 13, which is the coefficient of the variable. Therefore, 13x out of 13, 12 out of 13, x become 12 out of 13 as our final answer. So the value of x, which when substituted by this, will give us the left to be equal to 3, will be 12 out of 4, 13. And I'm sure the concept it's clear how to find the LCM multiplying, reducing the fraction to get a linear term. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.